Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a message for our Aquarians, okay? So Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node. It really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as an Aquarius, then this reading is for you, all right? Let us go ahead, Aquarius. Let's jump straight into the reading. Let us see what the messages are that spirit has here for you on today if it's a little dark y'all please excuse it um i was using natural sunlight today and it just randomly i mean the, the sun moved you know <laughs> it happens all right but it just randomly got dark all right it was just fine two seconds ago all right so excuse it listen to my voice listen to the message you'll be able to see the cards but if it's a little dark apologies about that all right so aquarius let us go ahead jump straight into the reading messages okay we have patience all right temperance energy so something about divine timing okay you're being asked to be patient here trust divine timing wait on divine timing all right let us see <clears throat> we have truth which is judgment in reverse and we have conflict and defeat You've been trying to wait on spirit to show you someone's true colors, okay? Um, but I feel like there's this energy here with the judgment card, which is truth, where maybe we're not being honest with ourselves about this person. We're not being honest with ourselves about what we feel from this person, okay? We have balance, which is justice in reverse. So this is a karmic situation that you guys have going on here, okay? Um, with the four swords energy in reverse, some of you might be waking up during the witching hours, okay? Three, four o'clock, all right? I'm hearing from spirit, my crown is like going off. Somebody might be trying to do some work on your crown chakra. We have the five of cups in reverse. Somebody from your past who you separated with, you broke up from or broke up with your ex-husband or ex-boyfriend or ex-something, okay, with the emperor here. <clears throat> excuse me they're a masculine energy so you have a masculine energy that has a hard time walking away from you or has a hard time letting you walk away from them this person feels absolutely defeated from losing you um you know no longer having the access to you that they would like so this person is doing something here okay they're doing something okay let us see Something to your crown chakra to keep you stuck in a feeling of heartache, pain, and loss. Some of you might have um, Sagittarian placements. Yeah, but this cycle is over. It has ended or it needs to end. Spirit wants for you to move on. Six of swords, okay? So for some of you, you might still be allowing this person to stay in your life. Yeah, three of cups. Please go and check out the Sagittarius reading, all right? Some of you feel like because you think this person is your divine counterpart, you think this person is your divine masculine or your divine feminine, put yourself on whichever side you go on. You allow for certain things to go down. But I feel like this person is still dealing with someone from their past or... <clears throat> for some of you that's definitely what it is this person is still dealing with someone from their past and keeping you stuck in a third party situation um keeping you stuck in a karmic cycle which is why spirit is saying go ahead move forward from this person this person is not honest spirit has been trying to grab your attention about this for a really long time see like you have the empress here as well so like i said regardless if you're the feminine or the masculine somebody here feels like they want to be in a relationship with their masculine but your masculine is involved with someone else or <clears throat> Somebody here is trying to make their karmic a masculine, but we're going to dig and see. All right. I'm feeling a little bit of both. So put yourself on whichever side you go on. It's not personal. Now, if it was personal, I could tell you exactly what's going on. All right. But this is not personal. This is general. So different things are going to resonate with different people for the messages that I'm getting, the downloads that I'm receiving. All right. Because I'm not just a reader. I don't consider myself to be a tarot reader. All right. I'm a prophetess. Okay. I see visions, I hear things, everything is a symbol. I speak directly to God. These cards are for images for you all. You get what I'm saying? But I wouldn't consider myself a, a tarot reader. So we have the choose wisely here. Yeah, so 
be be wise about this okay use your discernment because remember the true card is in reverse so when it comes to your discernment you're not necessarily using it you're not listening to your heart here okay listen to your heart because it's trying to speak the truth to you with the throat chakra and the heart chakra here but somebody is having a hard time hearing what it is that their higher self is trying to tell them all right so let us see for aquarius <clears throat> yeah so we have empathy here in reverse so and we don't read oracles in reversal but mind you this person is distorting your discernment you're not able to think clearly all right because you feel like oh this is my masculine or this it doesn't matter you get what i'm saying i feel like this person is stuck in a karmic cycle and they just refuse to leave you get what i'm saying they refuse to leave so that's what i'm getting here okay so you can't if they're in their karmic cycle they refuse to leave that person but they also refuse to let you move on you just have to be wise about that and be like you know what this is this is not cool you know what i mean if they want to be with somebody else let them be with somebody else <clears throat> they want to play house let them play house you get what i'm saying but don't keep yourself stuck on this person if they're not able to give you what it is you know you deserve because you're showing up as an empress so yes they're an emperor they're clearly in the upright position However, you get what I'm saying? You're in, you're in the upright position as well as an empress. So you don't owe this person anything, okay? It doesn't matter if they're your masculine. What does that mean? All right, so let us see here. What are you supposed to learn from this? All right, so we have peace, all right? It says, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So if that person is being negative, you get what I'm saying? Or they're stuck in a negative cycle and they're trying to drag you in that cycle with them because they refuse to leave, you have to be wise enough to move forward and be like, you know what? I will not allow this person to keep breaking my heart, okay? Please go watch the Sagittarian reading because either you're a Sagittarius, they're a Sagittarius, you get what I'm saying? You have Aquarian placements or in Sagittarian placements or they have Aquarius placements and Sagittarius. Whichever way it goes, go check it out because these readings are literally going hand in hand. So we have a divine feminine and masculine who are separated due to... Um, <clears throat> karmic cycles or things that are going on in their life with other people but you can't allow yourself to be stuck on this person though you get what i'm saying that's ultimately what it boils down to you have to trust your heart here all right listen to what it is that it's telling you so let us see here for our aquarians like even if this is your divine counterpart we can't force you know what i mean like i said it's divine timing is at play here divine timing all right yeah, there some of them are really stuck in this karmic cycle and they won't they won't ever leave it. They, they but that's a choice that they made. You get what I'm saying? They they want to be with the person that they're with. They enjoy them. So it's like let them stay there. That tells you that they enjoy the vibration that they're on. Let them stay on that vibration. So you have here, yeah, the nine of wands in reverse. Okay, so you let your guard down to this person, then they do something else to stab you in the back. <clears throat> Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this is definitely your, this is definitely your divine counterpart. But they're in a karmic cycle. That's the truth coming out here with the moon in reverse. They're in a karmic cycle, and they really enjoy the person that they're with. Yeah, we got the Nine of Pentacles here in reverse. They don't plan on um, being single anytime soon, leaving that relationship anytime soon. Yeah, the Eight of Wands in reverse. That's where they want to be. All right. So somebody's masculine or feminine has decided that they're going to stay with their their. Uh, karmic feminine or karmic masculine they're going to stay with that person okay so they like it they like the way it feels so we have here the high priestess in reverse yeah that's the truth that's what's coming out that's what's being revealed you have to trust your intuition on this listen to what it is the spirit is telling you spirit is guiding you to remove yourself or to free yourself with the eight of swords in reverse some of you see the truth but don't want to accept the truth with the knight of swords in reverse and the two of swords this person they love you yes they're going to always be there yes because they're they're your masculine but are they going to love you in the way that you want to be loved right now no because they're loving on that karmic and they really do want to be with that karmic even though they see that the relationship is not working two of cups in reverse they're having some differences they probably argue all the time i mean this masculine seems to enjoy toxic shit. So what can you say? All right, let us see here. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Exactly. Spirit wants for you to put that burden down. All right, Spirit does not want for you to be um, tripping over this. You get what I'm saying? Let this person do what they do, how they do it. And you just remove yourself. Temperance energy. Again, when the time is right, 
<clears throat> yeah, but do not allow yourself to be manipulated. I also feel like with the Ace of Wands in reverse, some of them possibly try to use um, what they have in between their legs to keep you stuck. You get what I'm saying? Like, maybe they have a big one. Maybe they have something <laughs> that feels great. You get what I'm saying? Who knows? And they know you like it, so they try to use that to make you stay or something like that. I don't know, but it's not working. Yeah, it's not working. All right, well, let's see here. We have the Justice card in reverse. Yeah, so this person is trying to keep you stuck in the karmic cycle with them because they don't want to leave that person. And Spirit is telling you not to do that. You get what I'm saying? If you have to be, uh, if you gotta be a bitch, be a bad one. If you gotta be the coldest, uh, the you know, the coldest hearted bitch that there ever was, then so be it. Your heart's still gonna be intact, Queen of Cups in the upright, but with the Ace of Cups in reverse, you're just not gonna give your love or your affection to them because you realize they're staying stuck in a karmic cycle. So when you know better, you do better. Why would you do that to yourself? You get what I'm saying? Give us more here on this uh, Four of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Wands. Yeah, so that's just what it boils down to. See, third party situation. Right now they're with somebody that they think they, I don't know. The Queen of Wands is a very attractive person. She's sexy as fuck. So whoever they're with, that's what they like. They like the way they look. They like their body. They like their physique. They like everything about that. You get what I'm saying? But when it comes to the soul and the mind and everything that really genuinely fucking matters, you know, they don't give a damn for that much. You know, they just like the way that the person looks. Um, but this Queen of Wands is keeping, you know, they want your person too. So, I mean, they ain't going nowhere. So that's just what it boils down to. You can keep yourself stuck in this cycle with this individual or, you get what I'm saying? And whoever I'm talking to, you bad as fuck too. So it's just like, for what? Why are you going to deal with this? That doesn't make any that doesn't make any sense. All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles here in reverse. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups, you know what I'm saying? No, fuck that. They just don't want to. They just don't want to see you with someone else. They just don't want to see you give your love away to somebody else. So they try to make you make you think that they're coming in the way that they're supposed to, which is to be in union. But they're not. They only come in to keep you stuck. All right. Let us see. Yeah. See, wheel of fortune in reverse. They don't really. They don't really. They're not ready to end their karmic cycle, y'all. Okay. I'm not gonna say they don't want you. I'm not gonna say they don't love you, because all of that is true. They do want you. They do love you. But are they ready to end that karmic cycle? No. So it's like they want both. You get what I'm saying? And if you allow them to have both, then you're not encouraging them to do what's right to end their karmic cycle. Be like, okay, I don't know why I gotta keep telling people this, but I'm gonna say it one more time. If you had to choose between, yes, this is bomb ass sex, this is this, this is that, or this is bomb ass sex and this, 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 who the hell is gonna choose A over this? You know what I mean? You can get bomb sex anywhere. You can get a sexy person anywhere. You can get a bomb ass body anywhere. But can you get all that and the above everywhere? No, you cannot. So it's like you have to choose wisely. Remember that? And if this person is not ready to choose wisely, then you make the wise choice and be like, mm -mm, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just if for what? It's not worth it. All right. It's not worth it. So this person, <laughs> I'm going to keep that to myself. For the divine feminines that know, you know. All right, we just want to say this. If this person ever truly wants to have the fortune or the life or whatever it is they're supposed to have, they better go ahead and get with their feminine. <laughs> Otherwise, I mean, they, life is going to be all right. And if they're okay with just all right, then you don't want that mediocre individual anyway. Trust me. All right, so if this was your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.